What is up guys? If you are watching this, I hope you have made it to the end of the course. In this video, I'm just going to give you a couple suggestions that you can do to um, go from here. Uh, the first suggestion and the biggest suggestion I have is if you have a game idea, just jump into it and build it and Google stuff and use Apple's documentation and just build what you want to build. Because that's how I actually became a programmer was when I started to just build my own projects. You just slowly, you build a knowledge base as you're building your own projects and you're excited about what you're building. So you're learning a lot faster along the way anyways. So after you get the basics down, um, that is my biggest suggestion. I'll go over Apple's documentation really quick. Um, in the Xcode, if you go up to help and then you go to documentation and API reference, um, if you decide to go on with iPhone developments, you are going to get pretty friendly with some of this documentation. Um, basically, it has anything you really need to know about building an app. It has all of the classes that Apple has um, and descriptions of those classes and how to use them, all of Apple's frameworks. So for instance, you can look up, you can look up SpriteKit right here. Um, you can look up best practices for SpriteKit. It has all of these different guides. Um, say I just wanna look at the SpriteKit framework though. I can click on Sprite Kit. I can go to Sprite Kit Programming Guide. And this will describe exactly how Sprite Kit works. It describes you the, um, the frame process that it goes through, and it will give you all of the classes, and it gives you kind of groups of knowledge that you can learn bit by bit. So this is my biggest suggestion. Use the documentation and jump into your own project. If you um, are, aren't feeling very good about uh, some of the basics still, and you just want to learn more, I would suggest going on going on YouTube or looking up videos online. There are many um, free resources as well just for learning how to code and just going through different tutorials and different game tutorials if you want to do that. Or you can move into um, more normal-based tutorials where you can build things like um, Snapchat and apps that just have that basic UI interface. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, good luck to you on your future iPhone endeavors.